Hi, I'm Sandata Yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Software Packages Series. Right now, we are in our Lecture 4, Week 2. Now, let's proceed to our topic for today. The first topic we have is the Switch Worksheet View. The second one is the Choose Print Options. And the third one is to create a complex formula. Now, let's go now with the Switch Worksheet View. Under this, you can change your view of the worksheet window by using either first is the view tab on the ribbon and the second is the view button on the status bar. So we have also the normal view which shows the worksheet without headers and footers or tools such as rulers and a page number indicator. Next, we have also the page layout view that provides a more accurate view of how a worksheet will look when printed. It shows the page margins, headers, and footers, rulers, etc. There is also a what you call page break preview. This displays a reduced view of each page of the worksheet along with the page break indicator, which uh, you can see to the next topic we have for the next slide now right here we have the page layout view so in figure 10 shows an image of a page layout preview now this part you need to identify that this is a one full page of a bond paper that's why it is identified as a page layout view next we have figure 11 shows an image of a page break preview now the page break uh, preview uh, shows uh, the content of the data on the page okay layout so let's proceed now we are finished with the switch worksheet view and let's go now to the our second topic the choose print option now in choosing a print option you can see how a worksheet would look when printed on the pan paper or in a columnar paper or even on a continuous paper. There's a what you call a page layout tab. The dotted line indicates the print area, the area to be printed. That's why you're going to look on the dotted line in Microsoft Excel or in any spreadsheet. So those dotted line indicates that are considered to be the printable area. Now let's proceed with the print preview. Now click file on the ribbon, then click print in the backstage view. So let's check out the page layout tab. We have the page setup group, the print orientation, landscape or portrait, scale to fit group, the sheet option group, and the printing in the backstage view lets you choose the number of copies the printer and so so in figure 12 shows an image of a worksheet in portrait orientation okay so uh, this is very common in uh, printing options the portrait orientation next we have figure 13 shows an image of a worksheet in a backstage view which you can choose options like what kind of printer you are going to use the setting of it the numbers the page numbers okay the the margins so you can check it out on the backstage view now we are finished now with the choose print options then let's proceed to the, our last topic the create a complex formula in creating a complex formula is an equation that uses more than one type of arithmetic operator Example, formula that uses both addition and multiplication. In figure 14, shows an image of pattern on how Excel compute complex formula using the order of operations, which is considered to be PEMDAS. So right here, we have 10 added by in a parenthesis of 6 minus 3 or in a function of 6 minus 3 divided by 2 exponent of 2 multiplied by 4 minus 1 so let's proceed on how does it works so in procedures in Excel when performing calculation first is that arithmetic operations are performed according to the order of precedence 
operations inside parentheses are calculated first. So parentheses are separators. Okay, in, in computer science. They are not operators. They are separators. It separates the first computed part that is the theory in mathematics. The third one is that after the parentheses has been separated and calculated, then there's what you call exponents are calculated. Next. Then, multiplication and division are calculated next from left to right and the last we have addition and subtraction are calculated next from left to right now we have here in figure 15 shows an image of a complex formula it is called a complex formula because it uses a cell or the name of the cell to be computed with parentheses and an operation inside of the parentheses and the operator outside with a numerical value that's why this is called a complex formula again you're going to compute the name of the cell or the name on the name box that's why it is called complex it is not complex as if you're going to compute like 2 times 2, 2 plus 2, it is not complex. This is common formula. In our validation board, we are finished with the switch worksheet view. Choose print option, create a complex formula. So, congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number 4. Thank you and good luck.